What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to go over a full build breakdown of this car and try to remember everything that I've done to it just because it's kind of at a stopping point for now and there's not really much else big stuff that I'm going to do to it for now. So I figured I should go ahead and do a video and explain everything that's done to the car. Most of it has already been in videos so far, but some of it might not be included in videos, so I'm just going to go ahead and go over everything that's done with the car starting with the exterior interior and then i'll kind of get to the performance stuff but uh this might be a pretty long video of just me explaining everything and it's raining so it's not a great day to be doing this but i'm kind of standing in my garage and then i'll get in the car to show the interior and then i guess just the engine bay because that's really all you can see but starting with the exterior this isn't really in any order it's just kind of what's done to the car not really in chronological order but as you can tell, it is lowered and it has Raceland Ultimo coilovers. And I have it on Vores TR4 wheels in Hyper Black. They're 18 by 8.5 plus 35 with 235, 40, 18 Achilles ATR Sport 2s on them. So that's kind of with the wheels. I just got those. That's the most recent thing I've done to it. And the Raceland coilovers aren't actually as bad as everyone says. I daily drive on them and they're fine. I've only, I blew one on a pothole and they sent out a replacement and I put it in and that process was all super easy. But uh, moving on to the next thing, these side skirts are made out of baseboard from Lowe's that I spray painted black. I have a video on that that shows you how to make those, but I think they make it look a lot lower. Uh, in a few months, I'm going to do real arrow though and like make like a whole kit that matches and everything. The front splitters here those you can see it's just here it stops there and doesn't go all the way across that's because they are broken pieces off of a cadillac cts lip off my dad's car that broke and I ended up just using them because as you can see they scrape and i usually just like paint this black to cover the scrapes but i didn't want to get like a nice splitter because on oklahoma roads it would not last long so that's that that's what those are i get quite a few questions on those i'm kind of surprised because they don't really match all that well but uh the fog lights are tinted yellow the previous owner put yellow bulbs in them but they're kind of green so i just tinted them yellow to kind of make it match these fog light bezels here i painted gloss black because this one had a hole in it right here and i filled it with bondo and then just painted it because uh the previous owner i guess hit something and you'll see the bumper has like the uh like a chunk missing out of it and the clear coat's messed up that's because i painted it when i first got the car because it was uh the previous owner like hit a curb and this was all scraped so i fixed that with bondo and that looked up that looks pretty much perfect but the paint i didn't do a great job on so i'm going to redo that this summer and do it right i also when i painted that i taped off the side and painted this middle piece here black and i think that looks a lot better on the front uh, I shaved the grill, so got rid of the plastic that is back behind there. And I think that looks a lot cleaner than I painted the crash bar black in there. And then also uh, there is the snorkel in there that a friend 3D printed for me. And the toe strap, which just goes through there and it's bolted to the crash bar, which technically is mounted right. I have like pulled the car with it, but I haven't had to like tow it out of like a ditch with it or anything. Uh, I have emblem overlays on the front and back. They're, I got them on Etsy, I believe. They're just black and red. Uh, I think that pretty much covers the front, other than you can see the intercooler in there, but that is kind of more performance oriented. Uh, another more aesthetic thing, well, there's the mud flaps. Those are just universal rally armor mud flaps off eBay, and I just screwed them into the fender liners and some of the holes that were already there. I didn't want to buy the $120 kit specifically for this car because they scrape on everything and I probably need to put a new set on there because they're pretty much destroyed because they hit, when the car scraped it's usually just the mud flaps. But uh, as far you can see in the wheels I have uh, R1 Concepts slotted rotors with the stock brakes I painted red just with like a can of caliper paint from the auto parts store and they have hawk performance ceramic pads and in there there's like a six blind lug nuts which came with the car and then hub rings and i painted that middle part black because there's uh i didn't like 
the hubcaps with the wheels that I got. Uh, I did a tent strip on the top of the windshield, which I'm gonna have to redo because it has a huge crack in it and I need to get a new windshield. I do wanna wrap the roof black. That's probably one of the next things that I will do. Uh, when I did get it, I did restore the headlights. So I sanded them down and re-clear coated them and they look pretty much brand new now. They have Spray Max 2K Clear on it. That stuff works magic. This side skirt here, I had to replace the white one because it fell off and I ran over it. So I bought a new one and painted it white and it pretty much matches perfectly and you can't really even tell. Moving on here, I'm not gonna step out there cause it's raining. I did carbon fiber mirror overlays. I did those myself. I put the carbon fiber on the stock mirror, cut it, put the resin on it, all that. I have a video on that too. And then you can see the black turn signals. Those are sequential turn signals can see if I unlock it that's what they look like I do have a video on that that is my most viewed video that is super popular so that's kind of that part of the car exterior is pretty simple uh, you can see in the back there I have the uh, quarter window louvers those were off eBay for like 20 bucks and they just stick on with tape and they were super easy to do and i actually like how they look too uh you can see the tail lights i tinted those with vivid medium smoke tint i did that myself i also have a video on that i also did the reflectors there you can see these here are just screwed in they're kind of like a rubberish material i got those on ebay for 30 dollars this is an ebay rs wing it's not a real rep uh, a real rs wing but it's a replica for like 100 bucks and then i filled the rs on the side so it's just flat and then this is gloss black and then this is a spoiler king extension that sticks on i have a ronin factory um antenna it's like a stubby antenna so it's not as long the long stock one and you can see there's the uh badge overlay here I had to put new ST badges on it because the previous owner had pink ones on it and I was not a fan of that, of those. Uh, carbon fiber tag frame, it is real. I just got it off uh, Amazon and made sure I got a real one. Then I got like the dress up bolts on the tag. And then I have this carbon fiber exhaust outlet trim, which I got used off of a wrecked ST for $20 and those go for like 150, I think, new. I think it's some California pony cars or something like that. And then it has the Cobb exhaust, which uh, came on the car. Uh, it also has a Depot Racing Catalyst downpipe, which now I think that pretty much covers all of the exterior stuff. I don't really know. I can't think of anything else I did. It has like special ST valve caps, but uh, that's pretty much it for the exterior so i'm going to go ahead and open the hood and then go over the performance stuff so there is some aesthetic stuff in the engine bay too i painted the this thing red just with a spray paint i have these dress up bolts which are from ebay which i have in there and they hold the headlights in and then also on some of like the wiring harness parts the dipstick is plasti dipped red uh, i have this red piece of vacuum line here because i lost the stock one because i used to have this routed the true vacuum which goes to the uh i don't remember the company it is i think it's cfm i believe uh and that is the sound symposium delete uh, i have just a like it's a custom welded thing i got on facebook but it's a three inch intake pipe and it's wrapped in the gold like heat like DEI uh, heat reflective tape, which just supposedly keeps intake temps down. I don't really know for sure. Then it has this elbow here, which I got on Amazon. It's just like a, I have a video on this actually. And that's just like a high flow intake elbow, which goes to the stock intake box, which I cut. So this is the stock intake box, but I cut and put weather stripping on it to seal against the hood and kind of make a DIY cold air intake. I also have a video on that. I also have carbon fiber overlays on the battery box cover and fuse box cover. I did those the same as the mirrors, which these are actually what is in the video on my channel. And then I have the Mentos cap like cover for 
the windshield wiper fluid just because it fits the same and that's kind of just fun to have and the car's white so it's kind of like Mentos or whatever it kind of just works and then I have the carbon fiber overlay on the coolant cap I have the PCV side and CCV side uh, add W1 oil catch cans and down in there I have solid shifter bushings and the JBR short shifter arm as far as the engine bay I'm not com I don't think there's anything else that I've done other than there's just the short shifter stuff down there and then the depot racing 3.5 inch intercooler in the front and I have replaced an O2 sensor down in there, which wasn't really needed. I just kind of did it because I diagnosed something wrong. It does have hood struts. Those I got on AliExpress for 20 bucks. I have a video on those two. They just mount to these brackets and go there, and they actually work great. Uh, I did take out the sound deadening that was under there, and then also the sound deadening on the hood because you can hear the turbo noise is better. But uh, that's pretty much it for the engine bay. It does have a catless downpipe from Depot Racing, which came on the car. But that pretty much covers all of that also down in there. I do have a CPE stage two rear motor mount, and I might do some of the other motor mounts eventually too, if I think it's necessary after doing autocross and maybe like a traction bar or something down in there. But uh, that's pretty much it for the engine bay oh well, it does have a uh, blow off valve from uh go fast bits it's just their dv plus i believe it doesn't make any noise which i'm probably going to switch that out for one that does make noise because i kind of miss the noise on it. it's gone because i can barely hear it through the intake so uh, that's pretty much it for that so far as far as other performance stuff there is the Cobb Catback exhaust. Uh, I already went through the brakes. I'm gonna go ahead and check my mod list just to make sure I don't miss anything. It is tuned by JST Tuning and that is an E30 tune. It's the custom tune, it's like you go do all the data logs and all that. And I only run it on E30. It, I have a 91 tune too in case I need it, but I've never used it. I've only used E30 just because it makes more power. So that's just how, what I normally drive it on. That whole tuning process was great. I have a whole video on that too. I'm gonna to go ahead and check my mod list just to make sure I don't forget anything and then we'll move on to the interior. So a few things I did forget to mention is it does have a Cobb intake filter. That's what was inside the stock airbox. And then the front fenders, I had to kind of like hammer in these tabs in here to keep them from rubbing. Uh, the fenders are already rolled, so I kind of just hammered those in to get them out of the way. And then it also has a fender spacer, which means there's two bolts in here. You take out the bottom one and put uh, washers behind it, and it pushes the fender out and keeps it from rubbing. So that's another thing that I've done. And also, it has Stop Tech, I believe, steel braided brake lines. Those came on the car, but they just kind of help with brake fuel and stuff like that. So next we'll move on to the interior, starting with like this door, I have jam handles, which I've never used those, but I just put them in there because I had them, but you're supposed to use that to grab your door so you don't get fingerprints on like this black uh, shiny plastic out there. And for the door, I have these, this is like fake suede, it's just like microfiber, but it kind of looks like suede and it's just red, like a red overlay. I have a video on how to do that too. And I really like how that looks in the interior with the red and the other accents. Then this is a carbon fiber like door trim piece. This is from Zen Carbon Fiber on Instagram. You can get that from them. That is also where the carbon fiber Ford badge came from, which is an overlay that goes in there. And it just kind of sticks on. Uh, the floor mats, those are from eBay. The car didn't come with OEM floor mats, so that's where I got those. They just say focus on them. And I had to put a patch on the seat because the previous owner has, I guess, was a little big and kind of like ripped the seat there. So that was kind of my only option. I had to put a patch on that. And then on the inside, I have a Steeda uh, pedal, driver's pet or gas pedal. And it kind of extends it over so you can do heel toe, which I haven't really mastered yet. But 
that the option is there. And then also you can see in there that red is a pedal spacer, which pushes the pedal outwards. And that is also supposed to make it easier to heel toe. Uh, I do have this steering wheel wrap, which goes around and has like the red stripe and red stitching. Uh, I have a video on that too. And that just kind of makes it look a little better and the stock one is kind of peeling. So this one looks a lot better. It has the red stripe. That's kind of the main reason I did it. It has a ST start button sticker. That is from Premium Auto Styling. And there is my access port, which all the tuning stuff is on. And then the mount for it is an A-pillar mount I got on Facebook from a Facebook group called Dave's AP Stiffies. He's the guy who makes them and sells them. That is, this is definitely the best access port mount in my opinion. It is, it's magnetic, so you can just pop it off like that and pop it back on. And it is super easy. I really like having that. Uh, it has a, I have a Broadway a uh, wide angle like mirror so you can see like out the side windows and the back window I just like having that a lot better and then I put like this black piece of vinyl to cover the uh, perforated part because the tent strip didn't cover that so that's why that is there I have a I forgot the exact name but it is an Aitman dash cam which just runs down to the back uh, cigarette lighter port down in there uh, over here, that's just like a little phone mount thing, which my phone mat is like magnetic and goes to that. Air fresheners, there's a little cat holding a turbo. And they're all black ice, which is, they're kind of, they don't smell anymore, but I just have them in here. This is the Ford Performance stock carbon fiber shift knob. This wasn't an option in the pre-facelift, but it came in the carbon package newer ones, but that's like my favorite shift knob, so I got it because it has the ST and carbon fiber. This e-brake handle that's carbon fiber that I also did myself as well as this part around the shift boot. I did those overlays myself like the same as the mirrors and the other covers. And I just like I put the sink thing back over it. And then this is a little ST badge. I got like a package of those off AliExpress too. And then the shift boot, that's just a universal shift boot that I cut to fit, I believe, a video on that too. And that just kind of snaps in there, and then I like put it up against that, and it's just suede with red stitching. Over here on the glove box handle, that's carbon fiber, that was just a little overlay I got on Amazon. But that's that, then I have one of the little Surrey Kawa things, I kind of put that in there just to see what it looked like, and I just haven't taken it out. But uh, I have this focus badge up here that came. I The car didn't come with OEM ST badges on the front and back. So I had to order a set of them and it came with that. So I glued this to some pins and then just stuck it in the headliner. I guess it looks kind of nice. But uh, that's that. I don't really know what else I've done to the interior. You can see the... Um, what do you call it? like the inlays of the door there but that's pretty much everything in the interior i don't think i'm missing anything i guess i can go around to the trunk and show you i do have a windshield wiper delete that's from kill all wipers it just covers it with this little like black piece of plastic i think it looks a lot cleaner without the windshield wiper in the back and i didn't really need it anyways because the whole car is ceramic coated, so it's a lot easier to clean. And I did the windows too, and like the rain just kind of falls off of it anyway, so I don't really need to see out of it any more than I can. And with the subwoofer, I do have a video on this part too, but I took the subwoofer out. That's filled with polyfill, which makes the sub supposedly sound better, which I do think it made quite a big of a difference whenever I put it in. But I do have a video on that if you just scroll through my channel. Then under here, I took the spare tire out, and then there is a tire inflator and battery jump pack. And then I just have like a bucket of like some detailing stuff, like a first aid kit, de icer, jumper cables, and just kind of stuff that I might need. But I think that's about it. So pretty much the only other things are the stickers on the back window and then the objects mirror losing sticker on that window. And then it also has underglow 
all the way under its Bluetooth underglow, so it just kind of connects to my phone and turns on from there, and I change the color and modes and all that. The front strip is kind of broken, so the colors are kind of weird on that, but I don't really use it that much anyways. But it does have it. But uh, that is the full build breakdown and mod list, everything so far. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Or if you've seen something that I missed, feel free to let me know. But that's pretty much the car up to now. A lot of people ask me where I get stuff and st stuff about like questions about what's on the car. So this video kind of covers everything. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Or you can message me on Instagram. It's the same as my YouTube channel name, just Nick Jernap. I'm happy to answer any questions. People ask me questions all the time just from finding my Instagram or in the comments. And I try to answer them as soon as possible. So thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any more ideas for things I could do to the car, feel free to leave those too. And I will see you in the next video.